Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger. And today we're going to uh, view a quiet carry knife. This is called the Chase. It's made by Quiet Carry. This is episode 16 of the Keeper series. And yeah, this is a keeper for me. I can't wait to read some of the comments on this these knives. Some immature people will probably comment on the pink scales. But when I pick this knife up, I'm not against pink and I'm proud to have a pink knife. So the pink version was the only available version at the time I picked this up. I like this knife. Even though it's pink, it's quite uh, quite well designed I think I'll put a review or a link to the review up there on the card or it will appear in the description but I'm pretty sure I reviewed this knife and you can see all the specs there I'll give you a little bit of a, some specs so this is a 20 CV and 20 CV is believe it's a super steel maybe still <laughs> it's on phosphor bronze washers so for all those people that like think that I need a wrist flip to flip it out I really don't it's a uh, quite a uh, flippy <laughs> so but it's not a drop shutty kind of knife because it's not tight but it's it's pr like a precision built knife are you familiar with chris reeve knives i'm not familiar with chris reeve knives i've never held one but uh i've hear those knives are not particularly flippy too they they usually roll them out but this knife you can flip out but, uh, like I was saying, you can't, like, shake it closed. You can see it's precisely centered. This is a really fantastic looking knife. Don't let your, your judgment be clouded by the color of the scales. I always plan to dye these scales. I want to maintain the pink, but I want to do a dye blend on... I, did, I haven't decided on the color yet. I, I kind of want to think, what would a red dye and pink look like? Maybe it would suck. I like it. So it has a drop point. This is a flat grind. And it's a, I would call it a crescent shaped thumb hole deployment. I don't know if that's right, but that's how I feel about it. <laughs> it's a liner lock. The lockup's great on it. It's probably about 50%. And it's a deep carry pocket clip. But it's for righties only. I don't know why they uh, did the, the righties only. If you see how it's designed, I think it could have been designed to uh, for left or right. You know the connection points on top of the knife and seems like a missed opportunity to uh, to flip the clip they probably would have the would have had to give you a, a different clip but you know like uh, if you're familiar with steel wheel steel wheel gives a custom clips all the time and they provide you with a right hand and a left hand clip. So, yeah, that's the only drawback to this. I think it they, they should have made this a lefty and righty friendly. Because it's already pretty friendly being a liner lock. Anyway, let's see how the clip fits. I carry it all the time, but if you look at the clip, you can see... It's uh, not very much spacing in there. 
Okay, let's try to fit it in the pocket. Let's simulate a, a pocket with this handkerchief and try to get it in there. You can see how it fits. It's totally deep, deep carry. And it's not as hard as it looks to get in the pocket. I think if you have jeans on, they're probably, you would probably have issues. But I wear BDUs. These this uh, BDUs tend to be thinner fabric. Uh, the military BDUs, if you're not familiar with um, the term BDUs, I wear cargo pants with uh, the ripstop material. Anyway, those kind of pants tend to allow placement in the, a pocket knife fairly easy. Honestly, I don't I haven't worn jeans in a quite a while, so You could see it's very thin, but the lip is pretty nice It's just up enough to catch the The edge of your pants and it, it goes e in easily, but Honestly, if you were wearing jeans, I don't know how it would <laughs> would work because <laughs> it's pretty It's pretty tight that's that's probably the only second drawback I see of the knife the tight fitting clip it's fun to de deploy this knife even though it's on phosphor bronze washers it it takes a little effort to flip this knife out so it doesn't need the wrist for everyone that's gonna say I use my wrist on this knife I'm not using the wrist I'm using just my thumb. I like the curvature. I like the lines of this knife. I like the lines a lot. I love how the the clip takes this dip. It's just a, it's just a wonderful looking knife. If anybody is interested in the size comparisons, I have with me a bug out, a Benchmade bug out. You can see putting up to uh, against the Benchmade bug out. It's a little bit smaller. It's maybe a half an inch smaller in the handle. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, it's kind of hard to judge it. Maybe half inch or quarter inch to half inch uh, in the blade too. So it's not a big knife. But it fits my hands really well. I tend to use my finger in this, uh, I would call it a finger choil. <laughs> and uh, my li large size hands fit really well on it. You can see it has really good jimping. This is not for looks. I mean, it's, it's really usable jimping, you could see. It's definitely a keeper. It's a lovely looking knife. Lovely looking knife. If you don't agree, say so in the comments. Take care, Wastelanders.